Uh, let's turn to Thomas Patrick now. So Thomas, a lot to talk about now. We are officially a record breaking day right here mm -hmm. in October. Yeah, the most snow to fall on a single day in October and you were here <laughs> for it, Regina. I was here <laughs> for it. Yay, perfect day for me. Yeah, almost seven inches of snow falling. We just got that uh, in at the top of this hour from the National Weather Service. The official observation comes from the airport. 6.8 inches of snow. Now the all time single day October snowfall record. And honestly, it's still snowing in some areas, especially in downtown Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. As of this hour, let's uh, zoom in on Doppler radar. See these darker blue shades, a bit of a snow squall or a snow band that's just been persistent over the north edge of Spokane through the I-90 corridor, through Post Falls and into the heart of Coeur d'Alene as well. So still snowing at a pretty good clip at the moment where our studios are, are on the South Hill and actually we're getting a break from the snow. It might not last long, but if these persistent snow bands continue to be persistent, we actually could add another half an inch or even a full inch of snow to those totals that we're seeing already right now. Still at 32 degrees. That's the observation out at the airport in uh, at the uh, Spokane's airport and look at some of these trees in the background as well as well as the foreground right at the bottom of the screen looking very much stressed out, especially from the top down as the branches are almost like they're wilting uh, on those trees and those are very hardy trees as well. Here are some of the top snowfall reports that we got today. 9.5 inches out of the Republic area, 7 inches in Chewila Spirit Lake as well as Deer Park. The National Weather Service itself in Spokane has 6.2 inches of snow that also out of airway height. So a lot of reports really between about four to eight inches of snow across the region. And of course, I mentioned 6.8 inches officially out at the airport, breaking the single day October record. That record was set back in 1957, and now the new record is for 2020. And it was, of course, the first snowfall of the season. So a lot of great pictures coming in of uh, honestly, this looks a bit scarier with uh, with the snow now in place on those decorations. So a white Halloween, at least for this weekend. I think most of it should be gone by next weekend. Really cool picture here. Check out the wildlife of moose and the baby moose just taking a stroll through the snow there. Nice quick eyed picture from Matt. Uh, a couple of uh, pictures of not only the roses that very much did not like the snow on the left, but here's another good look at this tree, especially the left side. Look at how much that snow stuck to all those leaves and it was a very heavy snow. So you can see that these trees were pretty much just wilting and bending under the weight of that snow. In this case, there's no power lines next to this tree. That's the good news. That wasn't the case everywhere, though. This was out of the South Hill. This tree fell on the power lines and those active power lines actually put the tree on fire. Thankfully, uh, the crews cut off the power, so it did cause a power outages, but it could have been a lot worse in that scenario, and that's a little bit scary. That's about the worst case scenario with this kind of snowfall falling so heavily on those trees that had yet to drop their fall foliage, and if they haven't dropped by today, that's going to be very quick over this next week. So here's our post snowfall impacts. Travel is going to remain a big implication for this weekend. And even if the snow stops, all those slushy roads are going to turn into icy roads because our temperatures will be down into the 20s and eventually teens later on this weekend. Also, those power outages remain to be an issue tonight. In fact, we've seen that number climb throughout the evening, especially as those trees still are stressed out over the weight of that snow. Should be coming to an end within the next few hours here. If anything, tomorrow morning might still be raining in Lewiston. Otherwise, we're set for a dry but cold weekend ahead of us. As mentioned, those temperatures down into the 20s and teens. So those slushy streets will turn into icy and clumpy streets, if you will, over the next couple days. So make sure to continue to drive slowly just in case you might hit any icy patches on the road for this weekend. This should be the worst of the winter October weather should get back to normal, which would actually be low 50s by this point next week, and that will feel like a heat wave by the time we get there. I was just going to say that it's going to feel so warm by next Thursday or Friday with the 50 degrees. Yeah, Much but different. and that's just normal temperature temperatures for this time of year too. All right, we are abnormal and we're breaking records today. All right, Thomas, thanks so much.